What's up guys, Drake here with another historical car overview and this one's going to be the history of the Mini Cooper S. The Mini is a small car that was made by the British Motor Corporation BMC and its successor from 1959 until 2000. The original is considered a British icon of the 1960s and its space saving front wheel drive layout which will allow 80% of the area of the um, car's floor plan to be used for passengers and luggage influenced the generation of car manufacturers. The vehicle is in the same ways considered the British equivalent to its German counterpart, the Volkswagen Beetle, which enjoyed similar popularity in the North Americans. In 1999, the Mini was voted the second most influential car of the 20th century behind the Ford Model T. Distinctive, the distinctive two-door car was designed for BMC by Sir Alec Isignos. It was manufactured at the Landridge and Cowley plant in England and Victoria Park Zetlands British Motor Corporation Australia factory in Sydney, Australia and later in Spain, Anti, Belgium, Chile, Italy, Innocenti, Malta, Portugal and uh, South Africa. Uruguay, Venezuela and Yugoslavia. The Mini Mark 1 had three major UK updates, the Mark 2, the Clubman and the Mark 3. Within these was the series of various variations including the state car, a pickup truck, a van, a Mini Moke, a Jeep like Buggy and the Mini Cooper and the Cooper S were sportier and were the sportier versions that were successes as rally cars winning the Monte Carlo rally four times and in 1964 through to 1967 although in 1966 the Mini was disqualified um, after the finish along with six other British entrants which included the first four cars to finish under this um, under a question questionable ruling uh, that the cars had used an illegal combination of headlamps and spotlights the Mini Cooper S originated when Isigonis' friend John Cooper, owner of the Cooper Car Company and designer and builder of Formula One and rally cars, saw potential in the Mini for competition. Isigonis was initially reluctant to see the Mini in the role of a performance car, but after John Cooper appealed to BMC management, two men collaborated to create the Mini Cooper, a nimble, economical and inexpensive car. The Austin Mini Cooper and the Morris Mini Cooper debuted in 1961. The original 848cc engine from the Morris Minor was given a longer stroke to increase capacity to 997cc, boosting power from 34bhp to 55bhp, 25 to 41 kilowatts. The car featured a racing tuned engine, twin SU carburetors, a closer ratio gearbox and front disc brakes, uncommon at the time in a small car. 1,000 of these units were commissioned by management, intended for and designed to meet the homologation rules of Group 2 Rally Racing. The 997cc engine was replaced by a shorter stroke 998cc unit in 1964. A more powerful Mini dubbed the S was developed in tandem and released in 1963. Featuring a 1,071cc uh, engine with a 70.61mm bore and nitrided steel crankshaft and strengthened bottom end to allow further tuning and larger service as the disc brakes 4030 Cooper S cars were produced and sold until the model was updated in August 1964 Cooper also produced two S models specifically for circuit racing in the under 1000 cc and under 1300 cc classes respectively Rated at 970cc and 1275cc, both with the 7061mm bore and both of which were also offered to the public. The smaller engine model was not well received and only 963 had been built when the model was discontinued in 1965. The 1275cc Cooper S model continued in production until 1971. Sales of the Mini Cooper were as follows, 64,000 Mark 1 Coopers with 997cc or 998cc engines, 19,000 Mark 1 Cooper S's with 970cc, 1,071cc or 1,275cc engines, 16,000 Mark 2 Coopers with 998cc engines, 6,300 Mark 2 Cooper S's with 1,275cc engines. There was no Mark III Coopers and just 1,570 Mark III Cooper S's had been sold. The Mini Cooper S earned acclaim 
with Monte Carlo Rally victories in 1964, 1965 and 1967. Minis were initially placed first, second and third in the 1966 rally as well but were disqualified after a controversial decision by the French judges. The disqualification related to the use of variable resistant headlamps dimming circuits in place of dual filament lamp. It should be noted that the Citroen DS that was eventually awarded first place had illegal white headlamps but escaped disqualification. The driver of the Citroen, Paul Toivenan, was reluctant to accept the trophy and vowed that he would never race for Citroen again. BMC probably received more publicity from the disqualification than they would have gained from a victory. In 1971, the Mini Cooper design was licensed in Italy by Innocenti and in 1973 to Spain by Othi, which stands for Automobiles de Turismo Hispano Ingleses, which began to produce the Innocenti Mini Cooper 1300 and the Onti Mini Cooper 1300 respectively. The Cooper name disappeared from the UK Mini range at the same time, as British Leyland, as it was by then, supposedly did not want to pay John Cooper royalties for the use of his name, so it was not seen again on a Mini for nearly 20 years. A new Mini Cooper named the RSP Rover Special Products was briefly relaunched in 1990 to 1991, with slightly lower performance than the 1960 Cooper. It proved so popular that the new Cooper market Mini went into full production in the late 1991. From 1992, Coopers were fitted with the fuel injection version of the 1275cc engine and in 1997, a multi-point fuel injection engine was introduced, along with a front-mounted radiator and various safety improvements. The Mini is a small car that was made by the British Motor Corporation BMC and its successor from 1959 until 2000. The original is considered a British icon for the 1960s and it is space-saving front and wheel drive layout which allowed 80% of the area of the car's floor plan to be used for passenger and luggage. Well guys, that's about all the information I could come up with for the little Mini Cooper S, or the S Sports version that is. And uh, thanks for watching, this was Drac and uh, over and out.